as we bring out our new product for this fall season, we are anticipating a 90% jump. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Do you know that Jesus promised that he was coming back for you? I know the church don't talk about it much, but do you know that you're the bride of Christ and Jesus is going to marry you and he's coming back for you? This is true. Now learn the lesson of the fig tree. As soon as you see his twigs get tender and his leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near right at the door. I tell you the truth. This generation will certainly not pass away till all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away. When you see the fig tree rebirth, this generation will not pass until all these things happen. You not wanting to know the truth is not going to change anything. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. There are wars and rumors of war. Signs and warnings. There are disasters. Destruction. There are those who say that these are dark times and that these destructive events are not just random. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two will be in the field, one will be taken, and the other one left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken, and the other one left. The same way Jesus has made plans for us, we have to understand that Satan has also made plans for this world. And he's made plans that he's going to reign and rule in this world and that he is going to make this world into a one world government, one world system that he can control all people to worship him. See, Satan hasn't changed. He still wants worship. President Bush signed a North American Union Agreement. He did not ask Congress. He did not ask the people of America to vote. President Bush signed a formal agreement that will end the United States as we know it. And he took the step without approval from either the U.S. Congress or the people of the United States. It's a deal that few have even heard of. It's being done again by very few people at the very top on behalf of the investment class. But the working class of people, uh, political officials across our country from communities, uh, from cities and so forth, they don't know anything about this. You would think that a situation like this would be on the cover of every major newspaper. That is until you realize that the people who are behind this movement are the same people behind the mainstream media, and you are not told what you're not supposed to know. The North American Union is the same concept as the European Union, the African Union, and the soon-to-be Asian Union, and the same people are behind all of them. And when the time is right, the North American Union, the European Union, the African Union, and the Asian Union will be merged together, forming the final stages of a plan these men have been working on for over 60 years a one world government. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. After 1989, President Bush kept saying, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. When our founders declared a new order of the ages, they were acting on an ancient hope.
that is meant to be fulfilled. Stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. But Kissinger says they are preparing Obama to create this new world order. Now, I have a lot of stock in what Kissinger says because he's a member of this secret society, the Bilderbergs, which just met in Virginia and laid out plans to microchip all humans by 2017. The ultimate goal is to get everybody in this world chipped with a chip, with a RFID chip, and uh, have all money be on those chips and everything on those chips. And if anybody wants to protest what we do or violate what we want, we just turn off the chip. These days were prophesied long ago in the pages of the Bible. So see, Satan's actively planning. But what are you actively doing with Jesus? Because Christ is coming for his church. And the church is not going to really tell you because the church is now merchandising people for money. So they're not going to tell you that Christ is coming. God is about to make prophecy come true. And you're a part of it. There has to be an economic collapse to bring in a new world government. What did? <laughs> well, uh, let me show you what we did. Okay. What we do. We print this stuff. Right. And this is the money which makes the economy move. And how much we print affects inflation and interest rates and whether people have jobs. Mm -hmm. So if we get it right, everyone's happy, and if we don't, you know what. There has to be an economic collapse to bring in a new world government. Your currency is about to change. He also forced everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark in his hand and in his forehead so that no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark, which is the name of the beast or the number of his name. This calls for wisdom. If anyone has insight, let him calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. To think something so small can connect you to everything that matters. When your life and all you love are on the line. HealthLink is always with you when every second counts in the emergency room. Providing immediate access to your medical records. Because Bob has trouble remembering all his medications. Because I'm in love with my kids' kids. Because my car lost control while driving. Because now I'm looking out for both of us. Because I have diabetes, but it doesn't have me. Because I spend my life in the ER trying to save yours.